Hello Nidorinos and Nidorinos, welcome to Bellamy City where today the Bellamy Angels are facing one of their weaknesses, the Jubilife Venom, who are starting out huge with the amazing Nido Queen and Nido King combination. Surely they're going to wipe out the entire Bellamy Angels because, well, it's Nido King and Nido Queen. But Ninetales is starting out with that snow warning ability that's going to set up the hail. Unfortunately, it's also going to affect Sylveon on the battlefield, and Ninetales immediately goes for the uproar on Nidoking. A great start, and Nidoking makes the mistake of going for an outrage, which won't affect the fairy types. Nidoqueen has more success with a crunch, even though it's not very effective on Sylveon, who does respond with a rock smash onto Nidoking, which is not very effective. However, it is going to lower Nidoking's defense. As Nido King does get hit by that hail, it's also going to hit Nido Queen and Sylveon, unfortunately, for Ninetales, unintentionally inflicting damage on its teammate as Ninetales continues to make that uproar. And this time goes for Nido Queen instead, doing very good damage here to start off the matchup as that gear up from Nido King fails. That's two moves in a row. Nido King is off to a horrible start, but that acid armor for Nido Queen will boost her defense. And Sylveon's gonna go with the Giga Impact. This is gonna be huge and go straight for Nido King. And Nido King is taken out of this matchup, even with not very effective move. It will leave Sylveon poisoned due to that poison point ability. But Nido King, unfortunately, it is sad to see no impact in this matchup whatsoever. Not helping the Jubilee Venom early on. That is always sad to see. You never wanna see Nido King get eliminated. I'm sure we all understand that. The Nidorans are amazing. But out now comes Gengar, the ghost poison type, and immediately goes with the overheat and goes for Nine Tails, and it is a one-hit wonder. It is super effective. Gengar does have its special attack lowered, but it immediately makes a huge impact in this matchup as Nido Queen sets up the future site on Sylveon. It will foresee that attack as Sylveon has to recharge from that very impressive Giga impact that we have already seen. And that hail continues to hit everyone who is remaining on the field. And Sylveon also still suffering from that poisoning from Nido King, leaving that impact there as Hatterene now comes out onto the field. Hatterene is actually a really slow Pokemon, but can be very terrifying as Gengar goes with the Confide into Sylveon, lowering its special attack. Now Sylveon is already poisoned. So Nido Queen won't be able to poison Hatterene or Sylveon. So that move goes ineffective on everybody. But that lands Wrath from Sylveon is going to be super effective on both Gengar and Nido Queen. More so on Gengar, but its cursed body is going to prevent Sylveon from going for attacks in the coming turns. But the Hurricane from Hatterene eliminates Nido Queen. What a hit! Unbelievable there by Hatterene coming onto the field. Also, just like Gengar, having an immediate impact in this matchup. A very good play there by the Psychic Fairy. Sylveon still suffering from that poison. Only has a number of turns left before that poison takes it out. And now we have Venusaur coming out for the Jubilee Venom as that Aqua Tail from Gengar eliminates Sylveon from this matchup. That's the second elimination for Gengar. Very good play there as Venusaur goes with the Poison Sting onto Hatterene. A super effective Poison Sting. Very good hit there. As Hatterene now goes with the Stockpile. It does stockpile one and raise its defense stats there, as well as its special defense as the hail finally stops over this battlefield that has been there from the very start. And now we have Gardevoir coming out to join Hatterene and immediately gets hit by the Mac Punch from Gengar. And Gengar avoids the high jump kick. It is immune to it, which is going to do damage to Gardevoir. Hatterene taking damage from Venusaur. Hattering going with a Shell Smash there. It is going to lower its defenses, but it will boost its speed stat. I wonder if it will actually be quicker than anyone. It also boosts its special attack and attack, which is very frightening. It could have huge implications for this matchup. As Gengar goes with the strength on Gardevoir, and Gardevoir is almost taken out. And Venus are going with the payback to finish off the job with a critical hit. And Gardevoir has been eliminated. Not landing any moves in this matchup, but there comes the Water Shuriken from Hatterene and gets a critical hit and off the first hit eliminates Gengar. That attack boost doing amazing for Hatterene, who already has that 136 special attack, but now we have Toxipex sorry, coming out for the Jubilee Venom and El Creamy coming out for the Battle of the Angels as Hatterene goes with the Searing Shot and hits everybody and another one hit wonder in this matchup. Super effective on Venusaur who's taken out and Toxapex is left with the burn but Venusaur 
taken it out by Hatter in an El Creamy, follows it up with another fire type move onto Toxipex, hitting it with the Inferno. It's not going to be very effective on the part water type, who does respond with a Bug Buzz onto Hatter in there, but Hatter in hangs on even after the critical hit. Toxipex now taking damage from that burn. And we have Crobat as the final Pokemon coming out for the Jubilee Phenom. It's very speedy, but instead goes for a defense curl, boosts its defenses. Hopefully it helps as Hatterene is on a run here and goes with the Payday onto Toxapex. Decent damage there. And El Creamy follows it up with a flip turn onto Toxapex. Not as successful, being not very effective even with that critical hit, but it does go back to the bench. So we're about to find out. The last Pokemon is Togekiss for the Battle of the Angels. That Venom Drench does fail. Hatterene's Magic Bounce will bounce it back, but that also fails. Toxapex suffering from the burn still. Outrage now being played. Doesn't affect the Fairy types as Togekiss sets up a Cosmic Power. I'm trying to fend off a Teddy Ursa in the office here, who is trying to get in front of the microphone. Hatterene going with the Metal Sound onto Toxapex. So Toxapex does have its special defense lowered. It is an easy target at the moment. Toxapex responds with the Disable. Going for Togekiss here, prevent it from using its metronome. And Toxapex again still holding on from that burn. Like I said, though, is an easy target. And Crobat goes with the Avalanche onto Togekiss. It is super effective on the flying type, but it's more effective after having taken damage. And now Togekiss going with the struggle onto Crobat, doing more damage to itself, but Hatterin going with the Electric Ball. This is going to be super effective no matter who it hits. And almost finishes off Crobat with that super effective move as Toxpex goes with the gravity that's going to bring Togekiss and Crobat down from the sky. Toxpex looks like it only has one turn left. It is still hanging on by a thread and Crobat now going with the Aura Sphere. And it goes for Hatterin and Hatterin still hanging on. Not very effective. Togekiss going with the struggle onto Crobat. Finishes Crobat off, which means Toxpex is all by itself. Togekiss, huge recoil damage, but the Night Slash comes from Hatterene, and that is its third elimination for this matchup, and it's a critical hit to insult injury, to add insult to injury. Hatterene, with a stellar performance in this matchup, and the Ballonly Angels take it home for the victory. This is going to put them up in second place, just below the Olivine or the Jubilee Venom. Move out of the Masters 8 into ninth place. Hopefully they'll have better luck next time against the Pewter Stones, whereas the Battle of the Angels will be facing the Doofit Combats next round. Our next matchup, however, will be appearing on screen now, and it's the Heart Home Hornets versus the Golden Rod Balance in a matchup of immunities. That should be fantastic to see, and I look forward to seeing how they go. But until then, Nidorinos, Nidorinos, Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember, you're awesome. And I'll see you when you see me.